Apple Scribble is a feature introduced in iPadOS 14 that allows you to write with your Apple Pencil in any text field, and Scribble converts that handwriting to text. It works in all iPad apps that support keyboard input. Because I use GoodNotes 5 every day for digital planning, I did a quick video explaining how to use Apple Scribble in GoodNotes. But since that video, I've experimented a bit more with Apple Scribble in GoodNotes and wanted to share some tips to help you quickly and easily edit your Apple Scribble text inside of GoodNotes 5. This is Jackie with planahealthylife.com and in this video I will show you how to add text using Apple Scribble inside of GoodNotes 5, how to delete text, how to select words in your text box, how to insert a word or phrase, and how to add and remove spaces in your text box. For Apple Scribble to work in GoodNotes, you must have already installed the iPadOS 14 update. It is available for all iPad Pros and most newer iPad models. Just check Settings, General, and Software Updates on your iPad to see if the update is available or double check if it's already been installed. This is how to add text using Apple Scribble in GoodNotes 5. Here I am in my digital planner inside of GoodNotes 5. You'll notice that I have the pen tool selected. When I write on my planner, it remains in my messy yet lovable handwriting. Because I don't like my handwriting, I love Apple Scribble, which will convert my writing into text. To trigger Apple Scribble, simply select the text tool in the toolbar menu. It's the little square with a T inside. Using your Apple Pencil, tap on the screen exactly where you want the new text box to appear. Now begin writing. Your handwriting is converted to text and appears exactly where you tapped earlier. This is a quick and simple way to add to-dos, notes, and appointments to your digital planner. Now let's see how to delete text in your text box. Removing a word or even several words using Apple Scribble is super easy. So here I'm making my meal plan for the week and I accidentally wrote one of the words twice. To remove that word, simply cross it out with the Apple Pencil and it miraculously disappears. If you want to delete words from a text box that's already on your page, just make sure to select the text box first by tapping on that box with your Apple Pencil. Then cross out the words you want to delete. Here's how to select words in your text box. Selecting a word or phrase allows you to replace it, copy it, or change the font style to bold or italic. To select words using Apple Scribble, simply circle the word or phrase to select it. Here I selected the word gift by circling it and then replace it with the word present. You can also cut words, look them up, or select words to change the font style to bold or italic. In this clip, I'm just showing you some other ways that you can select and change text using the circling method. So here I selected the word Christopher. I changed it to Christopher apostrophe S. You can select a word by circling it. You can cut that word. You can tap on your screen and paste it. You can select a word and look it up. You can also change um, to bold or italic or change the font style. So there are so many different options. And again, all you need to do is circle the word or the phrase that you want to change. Now let me show you how to insert a word or a phrase into a text box using Apple Scribble. Here in my digital planner, I am just writing a little sentence, something that gave me joy, and then I'll show you how you can go ahead and insert text into that sentence. Using your Apple Pencil, tap and hold on the place you want to insert text, then type the word or words you want to insert. It's that easy. To insert a word into an existing text box, just tap on that box to select it, then tap and hold your Apple Pencil where you want to insert the word or phrase, then go ahead and write it out. 
Lastly, here's how to add or remove a space inside a text box. To add a space to separate the word ha ha, just draw a line where you want the space to appear. To remove a space, do the same thing. Draw a line on the space to eliminate it. This adds or eliminates one space at a time. I hope you found these Apple Scribble edits helpful. I think Apple Scribble makes it super simple to add text inside of GoodNotes. And as you can see from these images of my digital planner, I love using text. Apple Scribble not only works in GoodNotes 5, but in other apps on your iPad that support keyboard input. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing. I share videos about digital planning and other ways to help you plan a healthier and happier life. Thanks for watching and happy planning.